Marseille's Museum of European and Mediterranean Civilization, commonly called the Museum, is hosting a special exhibition on Algerian national icon Emir Abdelkader. Seen as a national hero by Algerians, the religious and military leader is not well known in France. Whereas in his country he notably stands as a resistant against French occupation, the founder of the first Algerian state and a humanist. Emir Abdelkader, who was not just an emir, is a character who crosses the history of the 19th century. He is at the same time a young nobleman, pious religious, who is destined for a life of erudition and spirituality. He becomes, by way of fact, with the arrival of France in the year 1830, the leader of the resistance, the fighting leader. He really takes the head of a group of confederation of tribes, but has to lay down his arms in 1847. He finds himself imprisoned in France and then exiled to the east. With this exhibition, the curators wish to bring together Algeria and France's history. They even admit their ambition to set up this event in one of the museums of the North African country. This caftan was given by one of the Hermes sons, El Ashmi, to the Army Museum in Paris in 1897, because El Ashmi wanted his father to be recognized in the Holy of Holies at Les Invalides in Paris, so it was a very symbolic gesture for him. Emir Abdelkader based his authority on the Sharia, the Islamic law, but he was admired for keeping a dialogue with other religions. Some consider him to be part of those reformers of Islam, the whole reform movement that appeared in the 19th century. And Abdelkader is often associated with that movement. He is really a man who, while being deeply rooted in the Muslim faith, but also in a Sufi current, therefore mystical, opens his heart to all human beings. He is a man of brotherhood. He is very modern from that point of view. This exhibition is taking place as Algeria is celebrating this year its 60th anniversary of independence from France. Thank <laughs> you.